All right, everybody, welcome back to some Hollow Knight. Okay, here we are playing a little more Hollow Knight. We are finally diving into the Soul Sanctum. Okay, so it is time to decide to be good because there is no other alternative in this place. It is kill or be killed. You're going to meet your first enemy right here. This freaking fool. You have to fight no matter what, okay? Don't have to fight him well, though, as I'm showing you. <laughs> and fight him badly, that works. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I should have gotten that extra soul container after all, but I usually don't for this kind of stuff. Okay, so if you want to continue in this area and you want a shortcut so you don't have to go back through there, the soul sanctum is full of good shortcuts. This one, particularly, going right back to a bench is pretty useful. So now we've unlocked that so we can jump right in there and get back to this point without having to go back through that section again if we ever were to have to transport back to the menu. So a lot of this area is going to be like that. You're going to want to, um, to know how to do that. And you can also stab this guy through the floor, which helps. Helps me feel better, at least. So this area is locked off, so we're forced to go this way. Now, if you go up here, you're going to have to battle more enemies, but you're also going to be able to be rewarded with a shortcut um, in case you need more soul in the future. I usually don't unlock this one, but I could use the extra Geo this time. Ah, oh, come on. Some of these guys are annoying, I tell you, you know? At least fast healing is our friend. And there's plenty of soul in this place, and there are plenty of enemies always to hit, so everything is okay, but it's not ideal. In the Soul Sanctum. I mean, what's ideal about this place? So, the guys here were trying for a way to drain the life force, the soul, from the um, other inhabitants of the kingdom in order to live forever and to uh, prevent the spread of the plague that was the Radiance, okay? So, that's essentially what they were going for. Um, sacrifice some to benefit the whole, you know? Standard, um, standard philosophy for uh, evil creatures, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it uh, it didn't really work. But um, unlocking that door means we can get soul if we need it in the future. So here we have a little mini boss battle against this guy. He has a few attacks, but he's no soul tyrant. He's no soul master. You know, he just has a little dash attack that he winds up for. And um, that's mostly what he's got. There are a few different ways to dodge that one. Mostly it's just the not getting hit too badly and being able to dodge. He doesn't have any backup dudes like he does later in uh, the second time we're going to fight this guy later for the uh, Shade Soul. We do not um, have to deal with any of those attacks, so that's pretty good. You can heal up twice or once, uh, as the case may be. But he's pretty easy, so there's not really too much of a need for it. You just need to keep, you know, at, at going at it, you know? And, I don't know, I'm a nail person, as I said. I, um, I believe in just using the nail, swinging it around, and seeing what you can do with it. It's, uh, it's not a bad plan, I think. Ugh, okay, this guy's getting annoying at this point. While I'm trying to heal, you know? The Soul Master is not that annoying with it. But he still thinks he's all that, you know? He's dead. <laughs> uh, that guy's a little annoying, though. But he won't respawn, even if we go back to the um, main thing. So, um, we can also make a shortcut down this way. But you'll have to fight a couple guys if you want the shortcut. But I think it's generally worth it. I don't like fighting them against the wall like that. That's just annoying. Fighting them against this kind of wall is great. It's the other kind of walls I find annoying. Okay. See, we need a little extra health, though. Because I got hurt a little worse than I was thinking I would in that fight. So that sucks. We can farm a couple of these guys if we need to. Anyway, this door is now unlocked officially. So we, um, we are good there. That is very good news. Um, the main guys that do the teleport spam thing only, um, 
they only respawn if you go back to a bench. So once you can kill them, they're gone for a bit. I think is how that works. I cannot be 100% on that one. But yeah, um, we just need a little more health. Because we don't want to go into the soul, um, <laughs> into the soul master with not enough health. So we gotta farm a little soul off some of these guys. Like this guy, he's perfect for it, you know? But I didn't get enough soul for nothing. Maybe you, sir, shall be better. Okay, we're now back at full health, so that's what we want. I don't know when these guys come back. I find that sometimes they just come back to life for no reason. But I could be imagining things. They do just randomly appear, which is the annoying part. It's the annoying part about the whole soul place to begin with. Ugh. Okay, you don't want to fight too many of these at the same time. They get too annoying. But they should come down to see you because they're going to want to kill you. So, you know, they probably do want to come see you. Come back here, guys. Uh. Uh. It's only four or five hits, you know? Should be what puts them down. Ow. A lot of people have tough times in this section. No worries, it happens to us all. Uh. Is this not the one I hit before, or what? Come on. Okay, taking out one of them is useful. I just haven't had this hard a time in the Soul Sanctum recently at all, you know? Okay, that's why. It's because I mostly killed one guy and then he kept being the one who didn't show up. So this guy shows up, but he usually doesn't give me too much trouble, unlike most of them. Because you can unlock the gate there and you'll know you'll never see him again. So that works pretty well. Um, this place, on the other hand, is a little tough, but we want to get the charm while we're in here because we don't want to have to bother to come back. Now you want to get into this corner here and then just whip like, you know, crazy. You just want to do that. That's generally the best philosophy at this point. And heal up as much as possible. And then whack the oncoming hordes. Farm up a little more. Heal a little more. Hope that nobody shows up while you're trying to go through the gap there, because sometimes they do. And that's annoying. Hope we can get one or two more spawns so we can fill up a little more on health before the fight, because we're about to have to do a boss battle. <laughs> okay, it's boss battle time, everybody, whether you like it or not. At least they give you a little soul to begin with, but I prefer if I could be at full at full um, everything. Okay, once you get here, um, you can kind of do the fight however you want, but I'll explain some of the attacks as we see them. He does a few attacks. I kind of like to go corner strats on this one for the um, for getting over his dive. That's because this is the corner I use to tease the soul um, the soul uh, tyrant, you know. So this is his main attack. He also will do this attack where you can pogo him. He will stand there for a second if you want to try to um, get him. When he shoots his particles at you, dash forward or rebound over them. Other, either one of those can work. Dashing forward usually takes them out. Um, so that's a pretty easy, useful technique. This is one of his main staples, and that's to um, fly around and throw his things at you there. Always heal up in the corner if you get a chance to, but he moves very slow compared to the soul, um, the soul tyrant. So, when he's staggering, always heal if you can. If not, I like to use the quick focus because it's so fast at healing. And because I'm used to battling the Soul Tyrant, it's pretty easy to battle the Soul Master because he moves pretty slow by comparison. I mean, sometimes he'll get you off guard, but it's pretty rare, I find. Um, I find the Soul Master to be pretty easy because of this. But that's because I have a lot of hours of experience battling the Soul Tyrant. You're looking at about four sequences before he uh, is about done, versus the Soul Tyrant will only give you two sequences. So it's not, it's, um, it's actually a little easier in that way than the Soul Tyrant. But he will stand there and let you whip him a little bit more. 
When I say whip him, I must be thinking of Castlevania too much. <laughs> I just do that sometimes. Uh. Okay, make sure to dodge the attacks. Always the key there. He's going to be giving us the desolate dive. As you can see, he's using it there. Those I find a little hard to dodge. But what I do like about the Soul Tyrant is that he... Um, I mean, the Soul Master is that he's not that bad. As you saw, I didn't really have too much of a hard time. I got hit plenty of times, but I used healing as the entire solution, you know? I think the first time I battled him, it took nearly an hour for me to get his patterns down, but that's just because of the kind of player I am at this game. So you walk over here, here's a, um, he's not actually dead yet, that's why he's doing dives on us here. You just kind of dash by and he'll miss. And then he'll do air and um, ground stuff. It's not nearly as bad as the Soul Tyrant, I'll tell you that. This sequence really annoys me in the Soul Tyrant section. Um, there's probably a way to make it less annoying, but I'm not great at the dodging. Um, I am in this case, for the most part. I say right as I get hit. Okay, on the ground dodge, he has no hitbox, so you can just spam kill him here. No problem on that one. Heal on up, and he's dead. So that's that's it, you know? We beat the Soul Master, it was not at all a challenge. Ugh. I don't know, I think that's just because I have a lot of experience on battling the Soul Tyrant, that it gets, um, that it's pretty easy on the Soul Master once you kind of know what you're doing. Which does make me wonder why I often go for the Crystal Heart first if I don't really need it, but eh, you know. Personal preference, I suppose. Being able to do things out of sequence is sometimes just fun. Don't forget to go and grab the treasure up here, of course, um, because a lot of people forget to do that. They're like, ah, oh, I beat somebody, I need to go and get the hell out of here and stuff. And they forget they could be making 380, you know, bucks worth of money right there. You're going to need that because we need to buy a lot of stuff here. This place is full of guys who will give you lots of soul. Um, it is the soul sanctum, after all. But, um, yeah, so the main thing here is you need to battle a few guys, but um, they're not too bad once you get a hang for how they work. You can get hit from time to time, but mostly they're there just to give you soul for your desolate dives. Um, a few areas here, even though they're swarming with enemies, you should you should bother to explore them. Grab the Hollow Nest Seal there, grab some extra soul over here. This is actually some kind of ancient beings who, you know, did stuff to have soul, but, um, they, they had, they died off or something. I don't remember. I actually have to go up here. Because I can't get through that way, right? Oh wait, there might be some other area with Desolate Dive, right? Okay, then how did I dive through here but couldn't get through here is what I'm wondering. Why am I not healing enough? <laughs> eh. No worries. Me. Here's the creaky floor we needed. So you dive past the grub here, but you're going to want to go back to the grub. Um, so that's pretty important. You can just spam these guys right from the corner if you want to. It's a good way to take them out and get a little soul. Um, I think generally you're better off just platforming your way past these guys. Um, and then you hit the lever so you can get back up easier. Um, we actually now can get to the exit, but we want the grub first. And I think that a lot of people kind of are just like, why do I want to save all the grubs? And it's not just because you're being nice. I mean, they're cute, you know? They're worth saving because they're cute and nice and stuff like that. But it's also, they give you a lot of in-game rewards. Mask pieces, um, you know, um, I don't remember if they give us a soul vessel or not. Um, but they give us a lot of nice stuff. So um, it's definitely worth it for the stuff as well as for the fact that it's just nice to do for them. Nice for the sake of being nice. We do have a lot of money at this point um, compared to usual, so... Um, we should definitely go back to Dirtmouth to spend some of it on some stuff that we're going to be needing. Ow. I don't know why I dashed into that guy. Maybe I gotten used to the Shade Cloak a little too much. Hard to say. 
The desolate, dry, the desolate dive is pretty straightforward on how it works, but it's weird that this floor right here is not actually one you can dive through, isn't it? Because it seems like you should be able to, but you just, you just can't. So this room, you should remember, is the one we had a boss a mini boss battle in before. So we don't need to go... We just get out of here, you know? We just leave it. And you can technically leave this way, but I usually don't choose to do that. I kind of just slipped and fell. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you tend to go this way instead. As I said, the uh, the soul ty uh, the soul master. I keep wanting to call him the soul tyrant. The soul master is not that big a deal. It's he's he's really not, you know. So it, it shouldn't take you too long to beat him. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time with the next video. Stay tuned, and I will see you all later.